It's almost coming up to no. It's past. It's been it's been over a year since I first built the uh, Raspberry Pi aquarium water changing system I built, and it, it changed iterations again. So this is kind of version two point one in its current state. So let's just go around from what's what's kind of changed. The tank's much the same. Nothing's really changed on the tank. Um, <clears throat> I ended up building a new box for it. Um, the other box, I had a few bits I wanted to fit in, it just would not fit in, so I actually built one out of wood because I had no way of plastic forming. Uh, and at that time, some of the LEDs stopped working and I couldn't be bothered to change them. But the main things that's changed there is I've put actual physical relays in here to control some of the on and off stuff rather than using Wi Fi switches, uh, mainly because I've run out of plugs, to be honest, and it was just easier to have it all coming from one. Um, and it's down here rather than it being up there where it was before. So, yeah, that's all That's all on, on a shelf there. So the two things we've got there, um, we have just, just one thing plugged in at the moment, and that is our solenoid valve. So that's our box. It actually means we can... sort of pull this out. So we can kind of see what's in here. We've got the Raspberry Pi, various wires, a little relay box down there, fan that just keeps a bit of circulation. Um, we've got all the, the various MOSFETs that do the dimming um, along there. There's some there, and I think there's some on the side. Uh, I changed the Raspberry Pi out for a Pi 3, I think, because it was previously a Pi 0, and the power supply is there as well. So it gives you a bit of an idea of what it looks like inside. I always found getting the inside a bit of an arse before. So that's that. In terms of the touchscreen, so I, I re rewrote all the software again for the third time. I really, really wanted to write it in Python. I wanted it to be as lightweight as possible. PHP was kind of a quick, dirty version I did. This is actually a lot better, and the code's on GitHub. I'll put a link down below if anyone wants to use it. It's a bit more reliable now, but you can see it actually looks a lot, a lot nicer. Um, it's still, and, th and this is a limitation on the on the, the uh, iPod minis, iPad minis, as opposed to the code, but it doesn't like running websites too long. I don't know if it's because this runs out of RAM or something, but if ever I, what anyone actually do, and this was in the previous version, so it's not just this, I have to actually close the sandbox and reopen it just to get it to respond. So this is a bit a bit nicer. You can, I still never really got around to making this side bit work, to be honest. I never really got any alerts, but this was meant to display alerts. Um, the lighting just shows based on how the percentages are, whether it's kind of dark or cloudy or whatever. Water flow, that still spins when water's being changed. Um, ambience doesn't do anything, I don't think, now. Um, chrome temperature, water change, blah, blah, blah. I've got these different tabs now, that's the difference. So you go onto the lighting tab, all your channels at the top. This is kind of the summary, showing what the percentages are, but you can go on to any one, set that one schedule, copy that to another channel, save me doing it again and again, or make the light flash, so I can identify exactly what light I've got plugged in. We have temperature as a graph, and it just, it just keeps it consistent. Water as a graph, so this is a game for doing the water changes. Um, ambience, I never actually finished. System, I never actually finished. But so yeah, it, it looks a bit nicer being on the wall. Um, it still does water changes in the same way. We still have... There's actually a lot more in here because I'm now trying to do a similar thing with my reef tank. So that's got um, all that bits and pumps in there. But I've only got one carbon block. I didn't actually need to run the two. But it merely turns on a relay. We've got my my slightly more slightly easier version of the reef one that uses more physical rather than software uh, and it just overflows the kitchen and that's been running now for this entire year uh, in that time I have not done a single water change so yeah it works perfectly fine and I can't complain at all how it's worked so I, I would say if you, if you want to give it a go, give it a go because it's, it's really made my life easier and my next task and my next video will probably be me doing the same thing for my reef aquarium which I've, I've kind of got it automating water change at the moment but I want to automate the making of the water as well. At the moment I'm just adding water and it's changing it over time. 
And then I have zero aquarium maintenance. It's like the ideal position to be in. So yeah, that's that. After a year, year update. Hope you'll enjoy.